Sheriff's Amusement Park. Oh, you should have seen the look on the real estate agent's face when we shook hands on the deal. <laughs> Executed. I'm going to have to play along. <laughs> I think I smell bat brains burning. <laughs> when you were a kid, did you ever try burping the national anthem? <laughs> I was never any good at it. But this gentleman claims he was. Just for fun, let's see how well he does while we electrocute him. <laughs> Ooh, now this one's my personal favorite. Reminds me of my childhood. The taste of the kettle corn. The 
clickety clack of their eyes. Oh, the stench of the dead vagrants they found under the boardwalk. The good old days. <laughs> Are you? I'm here to help. There are more of them. They have my co-workers. They're... they're forcing them. Don't worry. I'll get to them before anything happens. Okay. Hurry! Let's do this. He says we can kill him. Guys, look. I'm on TV. Hi, Ma. Hey, Dickie. Come here, baby. Get a shot of that.
The hostages are safe. I need to hurry to the penthouse and stop the Joker. seen anything like this. These bombs are set to detonate December 31st. I should be able to disarm them with my cryptographic sequencer. Oh no, you found my snowman bombs!
Sir, I've just seen the explosion at the Gotham Royal on the news. The hotel guests, are they safe? Not now, Alfred. Sir, are you all right? Your voice... I'm fine, Alfred. I've dealt with psychopaths before, but this... Sir, I strongly suggest you call in Captain Gordon. He could be a valuable ally for you. I don't need any allies. Joker's men here have been eliminated. Good work. But remember, our primary objective is the bat. We must remain vigilant. He will not get past us. And this is the only way to the penthouse. We can hope you're right. But only time will test your words. The bat is coming. Prepare to die.
to drop in. And just in time. Oh, he's my parasol. <laughs> Remember, you gave your word. You have one minute. Do they even have manners where he comes from? <laughs> you see, it's a tradition in my house to open one present each on Christmas Eve. Hmm. How about... One. <laughs> How many lives did you just take? None. I think that was just a little stocking stuffer, a construction site blocking my view. <laughs> <laughs> But this one isn't. <laughs> I've long waited for this moment. With your death, I will find peace. Now beat it out of him! Gordon is on his way. 
I think he's talking to you. Let me guess. He got away. Take him to Blackgate. Where'd he go? Huh? The bat! The partner! <laughs> My partner? Who else would jump off a building to save your sorry ass? You know, officer. <laughs> I was wondering the same thing myself. Welcome to Blackgate. We're gonna do a quick psychiatric evaluation. Bad day, huh? Cops in this city. Always beating on the sick and defenseless. Tell me something, dear. Have you ever had a really bad day? And what do you mean by that? You all people should know. There's nothing so cruel as memory. The pointy, biting little thunderbolts, unwanted party crashes screaming for your senses. <laughs> Inescapable, unrelenting, not at all friendly. You can't even escape into madness. <laughs> and then you meet someone who changes your life. And you feel that you don't even know who you are anymore. Isn't it funny how one little encounter can cleave off little pieces of your past, deform your memories and persona until you rethink your whole identity? <laughs> and as you realize how foolish it all is, <laughs> your laughter reverberates off the walls of your own. Okay, I'm gonna need more specifics. How about we try some word association? That sounds... delightful. <laughs> okay, one more. And I need you to be serious for this one. Fate. <laughs> you wanna know something funny? I used to think of fate as evil, predetermined, not by some higher power, no, but by the rules of human nature. But tonight, it's all changed. What changed? Have you ever had the feeling that your entire life has been building towards this one moment? Is that how you feel? <laughs> well, now, yes. Now I realize that all the battles, the bad days, the brutalities. It was all the hand of fate at work. So now you see fate differently? <laughs> Absolutely. Now I understand there are no chance encounters. It was all meant to be. Everything leading up to who I've met tonight. So you've met someone special? Yes. And you might say it's changed everything. Everything? Absolutely. I mean, do you realize what a vile world we live in? How lonely it is to wade through all that wretched filth on your own? It is kind of lonely, isn't it? Of course. Of course you understand. Even in a crowd of other screwballs, <laughs> you're so alone that you can kick, claw, yell, scream at the top of your lungs. No one cares. It's like you don't even exist. I feel... How does that make you 
feel. I feel adrift, floating, like someone's pulled the stopper on my reality, and I'm sucked down the drain into something new. It's all very exciting, really. <laughs> you wouldn't know what that feels like, I'm sure. I might. Can you tell me more about how this person makes you feel? It's like meeting someone I can actually relate to. Which, believe me, dear, I've never felt before. <laughs> you understand. You're someone who's not afraid to let go and fall. <laughs> Free falling, and I didn't pack a shoot. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yes. Yes, I do. I figured you would. So, may I ask, who is this person? Oh, someone very, very special. But whose real name I don't even know yet. Uh, my name's Halene. Halene Quinzel. What a pretty name. Do your friends call you Honey? Oh, uh... I don't have a lot of friends. Well, Harley, you got one now. a bit anticlimactic, but I hoped you might finally be ready to celebrate Christmas Eve, now that the Joker's behind bars. Bane is still out there. I've got to locate the signal from the tracker I placed on him. Even you must eat, sir. If you hadn't called the police, he'd already be in custody. This match is Delta 47. You know, I made a promise of my own to your parents. No sign of any cash. Not now, Alfred. Put the story back at the precinct. Why see that? Found bombs under the foundation. Some kind of hopped up freak. Must have been 400 pounds of muscle. Took six cops to gun that bastard down. Yeah, I saw the body in the morgue. Couldn't believe Sounds it. Sounds like this could be Bane or one of his men. If I hurry to the GCPD morgue, I can inspect the body and the autopsy report. Well, before you leave, I've run some tests on the compound you found at the steel mill. Looks like a match for your globular projectile for non-lethal restraint. You mean the glue grenade? Indeed. The resin has finished curing. It's at your workbench. Of course, I'd recommend testing it here in the lab. you go, but I'm sure you won't listen to me. You never... So I take it you won't be testing it then? It's called field testing, Alfred. Yeah. <laughs> 
stop! Master Bruce! Bruce! You? I will not in good conscience allow you to go! You're outmatched by these assassins! I'm what? You're not some hardened vigilante! You're a young man with a trust fund and too much anger. You're in over your head and I... I don't want this to be your end. Alfred, who do you see when you look at me? The boy whose shoes you used to tie every morning? The teenager you drove to his first date? While you are here every night, I am out there. The only thing between the innocent you and the may predator. Be. No, not what? may be. I am. When the mugger or the thief stops to think twice, that is fear. That is what I am. That is why they hired assassins, because I am the reason the criminals breathe easier when the sun rises. So no, Alfred, I am not in over my head. Tonight will be my end. But it will be theirs! Indeed. Now look, I'm sorry about what I said before you left. I hope you understand. It's just because... It's okay. I understand. Stand by for status update on potential assignment.
Potential assignment incoming. Keep this channel open.